Hello friends, hi, Vinayak here. I'm so delighted to have with me Tushar. Tushar is ranked number nine in the Reason Neat SS. And uh, I know how much of a struggle it is to get a single digit rank. And what Tushar has achieved is uh, amazing. So Tushar, how does it feel? Thank you so much, sir, for the wishes. Uh, and obviously, sir, it feels nice because uh, I think a single digit rank, 95% of it is, it, it is hard work, but 5% is luck. Absolutely. So definitely uh, to get a single digit rank, it feels surreal and giving all interviews to various platforms, which we I've seen a lot of toppers interviews, but I've ne I never thought I'd give one myself. <laughs> it's great to have you uh, here with us, Tushar. So Tushar, uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, where you did your MBBS, where you did your uh, general surgery, and then why, uh, why did you decide to do NEET SS and what is your motivation? So I am originally from Delhi uh, and uh, did my MBBS from Ramya Medical College, Bangalore. Uh, after that, uh, I did my internship here only in Delhi in RML Hospital. And luckily, I got my postgraduate in, in surgery from RML only, Delhi. After that, I did senior residency for a while in RML. And uh, then I left the job because I wanted to prepare for NEET SS because I think it was always a plan for me that I wanted to do super speciality. And uh, so that's why I was focused uh, and I knew that after my MS and after doing my starship, I want to do uh, MCH. So uh, when did you quit your job? How long did you prepare full time? Uh, sir, actually, initially what happened, I had quit around May because I thought uh, it will happen. I wanted to prepare for at least six months properly. Uh, so that and I had thought that it will happen by December, but I was wrong. So after quitting, then I uh, did, could not join anything serious again. So I started to going to a private hospital. And so I used to do duties there because after a while, then you cannot sit at home for too long. It just gets, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, and you start losing your skills and then it does not, does not feel good. So at like that, my planning, uh, I missed the mark a little bit. I could have done my senior residency a little bit more, but then eventually the result, it gave me was good. So I don't mind that now. Uh, so Tushar, you had a, a, a good amount of time to prepare. Yeah. But uh, how was your usual day? Like, how did you study? Sir, initially, when I thought that the exams was going to get earlier, I, I was just focusing on uh, uh, start doing, uh, reading the books, like standard textbooks. And my main focus was Bailey. So everything, first thing I used to do was Bailey. After that, then I used to think that what should I supplement it with some things. I supplemented it with Sabiston, something I supplemented it with shorts. But as I read them, I realized that it is very difficult to revise in the end. Like you cannot do all the books. You cannot revise all the books in the end. So I started making my own notes. Um, because I did not uh, see lectures per se as my primary mode of preparation. Like I did not follow lectures of any teacher. I was using lectures as a revision. Like what I've read, I just used to see the lectures to see if I've missed anything. But I did not like study from uh, any material. I studied from the book and the extra material I added in my own notes. So that in the end, I can revise Bailey, which I did. And the part which was there from Saviston or Schwartz or any other book or any other important point would be there in my notes. So I just had to revise that. Great, man. So what role did MCQs play in this entire game? Sir, uh, for me, MCQs are everything because even in, uh, I have always been a good enough student, but not like someone who's always uh, like into books or who's always studying. So for me, uh, I think this I realized during NEET PG that practice is everything in these exams. Because in one way, this this is not a uh, knowledge of your theoretical. This is just uh, your problem solving ability. And MCQ exam is basically your problem solving ability. You have the answer in front of you. It's up to you if you can find it or not. Half of it comes from knowledge. And I think the other half comes from the like, smartness, your practice and what method you're using to solve MCQs. So for me, I my, my priority was always solving MCQs. And but I did not uh, miss Bailey. Like I used okay. to, uh, and I used to do MCQs randomly. I did not like read the book, read the notes, and then do MCQs because that gave me very poor recall. So I just used to uh, do MCQs randomly, 
that also helped me i'd like uh, i i had uh, joined your test series in around uh, your uh, mcq bank in around september like after 3 4 months of reading and i really found that it gave me some points like uh, it gave me points from bailey which were like there in plain sight but it was just simply missed because you thought it was so simple that it could not come as an mcq but then when in the question bank i saw those and mcq and i got it wrong it just gave me excellent recall and when i read that point again i just could never forget it similarly when later i joined the test series uh, so in that also i did not read uh, like chapter wise test series basically yeah yeah the chapter wise test series so in that also like it it is recommended that you read the chapter and then you do the test but i did not do that Although if I would have read it, I would have probably gotten a better merit on that rank list that you gave for the test series. I used I used to come around ninety and twentieth, but I did not mind that because it really helped me recognize the part that I'm missing, like that I don't know. Like I gave the general surgery ka one test randomly without reading, and I got thirty five correct. So I was like, okay, I'm I'm good at this. But I gave one of those tests which was there one neoplasia. and that i got like 27 correct or like very ba- bad this thing so i realized okay this i need to focus it on more so that's what i feel uh, really helped me in the end to focus on what i really need to do like what points are my weak and i think only mcqs can let you know because in the end you have to go there and solve 150 questions and that's all nothing else matters absolutely absolutely yeah. so um how much time did you study like uh, like how was your usual day like uh, uh, like very uh, fast in study throughout the day or did you take multiple breaks no or... sir i studied like uh, i had a lot of commitments and other things in between so like there was a time when i did not study for like like after october i and i did not study for a month i did not study for 40 days uh, after in january also i had some commitments so i could not study for, for the full january so there were a lot of distractions in between but i think i had made a good base earlier when i had left my job so uh, and that can be done by like you should be thorough with bailey i feel this exam was also like completely like most of it was out of bailey i could see it so you should be thorough i was thorough so what i did initially was leading the books and making the notes that helped me in the last 50 days i studied seriously between that period i could not study at all so that base if you have a strong base then you can consolidate it in the last 50 days to 2 months i feel makes a lot of sense makes a lot of yes. sense sir so tushar what specialty are you planning to take sir i am planning to take urology sir my okay. father is a urologist so i want to become like him great great i think it's good to have an inspiration in family itself and yes. uh, it's uh, absolutely valuable uh, so tushar uh, thank you so much for your insights uh, last few final questions um, yes sir what message do you want to give the students who are preparing who are just starting to prepare who have not gotten a great rank in this neat ss who might be writing the exam in say november december so what advice would you give them so first of all if you have given this ss great the that, that has always been my strategy first exam i usually just go and give to see where i stand so now you know where you stand now you know how many questions you got correct and how many more you need so i think it is very important that when you're starting first of all that you're really focused about it that okay yes i have to do mch you're not doing it because of peer pressure or you're not doing it because someone else wants you to do it you you should be focused about it and you should have a certain target in your mind like i had a target that i wanted delhi so i studied according to it like i i wanted urology and i wanted it in my home state so i studied according to it so i feel you should have that target in mind you sh- and uh, while doing mcqs or while doing grant tests you should see if you are meeting that target if you are not then you definitely try to find out that where you are lacking absolutely and uh, i feel if you uh, this is just the basic like a broad strategy and uh, strategy to read and everything i think that is a very individualized thing everybody has their own pace everybody has their own style of reading some people like like notes some people like books some people like lectures so that you have to figure it out for yourself that what works for you but again you have to be focused on what do you want to achieve i think making your own notes and solving mcqs regularly is the single most yeah. uh, important strategy which i would advise and which i see toppers being constantly being practiced uh, yeah. answer definitely bailey and bailey, bailey. 
Bailey, I mean, if you want to get an excellent rank, uh, then I think you cannot leave Bailey. No notes can, uh, uh, like, no notes can uh, replace Bailey. You have to read Bailey. Okay. I feel even if you don't read any other book, just read Bailey. It makes a lot of sense. Makes a lot yeah. of sense. Hey, thanks, uh, Tushar. So, just okay. one last question, which yeah. uh, is my favorite question. Where do you see yourself ten years down the line? Sir, definitely, I feel. Uh, I think this is my last competitive exams for India. and i am i am going to stay in india maybe i'll do some fellowships outside but right now i'll just as i said that i focus on what's next and my next for me is next three years is mcs urology i'm going to enjoy that i'm going to learn as much as i can in it and then figure out what i have to do after that a hey, fantastic having you tushar thank you so much thank you for your very clear and succinct advice to the students uh, so condensing all the information Bailey is important. Making your own notes is important, and solving MCQs regularly yes. and the tests. I think nothing more uh, is 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 more important in getting a single digit rank. Thank you so much, Tushar. It was great Thank having you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for having me.